now then YouTube, I am the Toff Man. And if you're seeing this a day later than what I've recorded it, no I'm not wearing the same shit for a second day. I've literally just finished the Pro Clubs um, little bit and now I am going on to something different. Now, Euro 2012 is obviously just around the corner, uh, a couple of months away and I'm going to talk a little bit about the game, Euro 2012 itself. There's not very many details that are kicking around about this game. I've been keeping my eyeball out, but I've seen absolutely fuck all. Only recently I have learned that EA Sports are going to have no part in it. Fucking yes. Get the fuck in. It's going to be developed by, I think it's Double Helix Games, and it's going to be published by Warner Brothers Entertainment absolutely brilliant. We can see now what a football game is going to be like that's got nothing to do with EA Sports so fingers crossed that Double Helix will do a fucking good job on this because everybody's going to be looking at them and, and judging them on that so absolutely brilliant to hear that we're going to get a, a different football game that isn't Konami. Fuck them now, they're out the fucking window. They are, did a shit job with the Pez series they really took that downhill and EA Sports, well, you know my rants, I'm not going to go there. But this is going to be developed by Double Helix Games. It's going to be out in May and to say it's going to be out in May, I've seen fuck all, no, like, absolutely no details about this game at all. But I will be keeping myself posted on that. Um, there is going to be all 16, is it? 16 teams that are in fucking Euros, I can't remember. <laughs> the top of my head, I'm sure it's 16. Uh, there's going to be all 16 teams, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be a Euro game. It's not yet confirmed there's going to be all, whether or not there's going to be all 54 European teams in there and whether you can play through the qualification process. I personally hope that they do do that because it would be an a, a amazing experience to go through that again because I love that in the World Cup. Um, I will be doing a full playthrough as I've said before and I will be doing a full playthrough as Republic of Ireland. I'm not going to hold a vote on this because I know you guys will pick up Montenegro or fucking San Marino or some bullshit like that. So, um, I'm going to give myself a, a challenge but also a team that I think can do well in it and that is the Republic of Ireland. Um, whether or not I win with the Republic of Ireland, I don't know. But, you know, now my quality, quality. Now my Crawley Town playthrough is winding down a little bit, it's getting towards the end of Crawley Town. When that finishes, hopefully it's going to be just before the Euros, um, the Euro game comes out and then I can concentrate on that for a month or two, maybe do a couple of different playthroughs with different teams and then go back on with Crawley for a month or so and then FIFA 13 will be out. Um, as I've said before, I refuse to buy any other EA products anymore other than FIFA because I just don't like the way that EA work, um, are working, uh, the type of company that they are. Yes, you know, by all means make money as a company, but when you're screwing over the consumer as you are, it don't, don't wash in my butt, just does not wash. Now, Mass Effect 3, brilliant game. It is an absolutely brilliant game. Um, it's just a shame that it was published by EA because I think they've milked it for all it's fucking worth. Real, real shame. But, you know, absolutely wonderful game. Am I going to buy that extra content? Am I fuck? Purely on the basic, the basis that it should be in the game to, to begin with. Anybody who buys that content, you're an idiot. And I don't care about anybody else and the way that they fucking... You can sugarcoat it as much as you like, but EA are just after the money that's involved in that. And, you know, they're quite within the rights to do so, but I just think I'm being screwed over as a consumer and I will not give in to EA's bullshit. Whether or not Bioware have got anything to do with it, they might not have anything to do with it, but, you know, maybe, you know, it'll, it'll shy Bioware away from EA in, in the future if nobody buys the extra content. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, you'll, you'll feel free to disagree with me on that one. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Euro 2012 is going to come out in May sometime um, and I'm also having a look at doing uh, like a little Minecraft playthrough when it comes out for the 360 uh, on the arcade. I will definitely be getting that. 
my lad's been badgering me for months. Is it out? Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, I'm like, no, I don't know when it's coming out. Nobody knows. It's spring. It's not even spring yet, so just wait. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a playthrough on that. Even a playthrough with my young lad. Um, or my young lads, because my youngest, who is going to turn four soon, you know, he's, he's spot on. He's a great lad. Uh, at Minecraft, he, he loves the PC version. Can't do right much, but he does love it. Um, and, you know, I might stick my young lad on there as well and we'll all have a little a little go on that and a bit of a laugh. But, you know, I'm definitely going to be doing one. Whether or not my eldest and my youngest going to be involved, that's another thing. But, um, whatever. Uh, I'll let you know when the time comes. But, you know, for now, Euro 2012 is definitely on my radar. I'll definitely be keeping out a lookout on that. And I'll be keeping weekly looking at that uh, wiki page and seeing what's going on. If anybody else knows of anything that's going on with the Euro 2012 between now and then, let me know in the comments and uh, I shall cover it. But it has to be evidence, there has to be hard facts there. If it's just like pissing in the wind, I don't deal with that, you know what I mean? I want to be given the facts, I want to see articles that have been written on websites about it, people that have had interviews and shit like that, you know, the usual stuff. I don't want to be speculating on anything. Um, I'm just telling you how it is, as I always do with these football games and stuff. I like to hear about what people would like to see in the game, but, um, you know, speculation as to who said what, you know, without evidence, I don't want to deal with it. But until then, guys, I've been the tough man. Stay safe. Fuck me, I'm a bit on the piss there. I've done a fucking start recording. I'm fucking over that side of the bastard video. Not in the middle, bastard middle. It's not fucking professional, is it?